my name is Shreen Hinzi and thank you so much for stopping by on my video today. Today I'm actually going to be testing out the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation and Concealer. In another video I'm actually doing a full face of ColourPop makeup so if you want to know how I did this eyeshadow look and how I do the rest of my face later definitely check out that full face of ColourPop but in this video today I'm going to be doing a wear test on this foundation. I have not worn this on my face. I have tried the concealer a couple times but I have not worn this foundation. It's supposed to be a hydrating foundation with skin perfecting medium buildable coverage for natural healthy looking skin. I think I definitely need all the hydration I can get. As you can see I have hyperpigmentation, acne, and my skin is very dry and textured right now as well. On one side of my face I'm going to be using a brush and then on the other side I'm actually going to be using a ColourPop sponge. I will use my favorite primer right now. This is the Essence um, Hydrating Skin Refreshing Primer and I'm going to go ahead and put this on the right side of my face. Like I said, my skin is very textured and dry right now. I've really been trying to moisturize and use more hydrating products in my skincare lately. This primer is very inexpensive as well. Really like the Essence products. I'm going to go ahead and use the brush on this side of my face. As you can see, it's a very liquidy foundation. Oh, that was one pump. I probably didn't even need one pump. I probably could have used half a pump, honestly. I don't know if it's the foundation. It kind of smells like chlorine. I don't know why I'm getting like an indoor pool vibe smell to it. I don't know. Wow, that is way more coverage than I was expecting. But look at that glow. Oh, this is a dry skin dream. Actually, I didn't do too bad with the color match. It is a little bit orangey on my end in real life, but wow. Look at that coverage, you guys, and look at that glow. Oh, it feels so lovely on my dry skin. I'm going to go ahead and, and pump some on the sponge here. I did half a pump um, to start with. I'm going to use the sponge. The application with the sponge actually was a lot faster and I don't know maybe a little less coverage but again I went in with a whole pump on this side so I'm actually just going to blend this out on the brush side and just kind of mend them together. Both sides honestly look really good to me. I don't have a preference really. Maybe? After pressing it in with the sponge, it's looking a little bit drier on the brush side for some reason, but it definitely isn't covering these spots as well as I would like it to. I'm just going to go in with a little bit, try and see if I can cover these crusty spots up. If you guys haven't seen my latest video, I re-reviewed the Dermacol foundation from three years ago and it broke me out right here. So that's what those spots are. So that's what my skin is looking like. Can you just see that glow? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. And it is oxidizing a little bit, like it looks a little bit peachy orange on my skin in person, but this definitely exceeded my expectations. I didn't have very high hopes for that, honestly. I'm gonna go in with the concealer. This is in the shade Fair 10 Neutral. I do wanna try the Becca Brightening Corrector Concealer. Like, so many people love this, and I have it, and I just haven't dived into it at all. And then I'll be using the other side of the sponge. I'll be using the pointed side of the ColourPop sponge here to blend in the concealer. All right, everything looks really, really good. So this is what the foundation looks like. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face in that full face of ColourPop video. The time is actually 10.50 right now that everything has been put down I'll come back when my full face is done. Here we are with the full face 
done. It is now 11.15. I finished putting the foundation on without setting it at 10.50. So I'll say my wear test is going to start at 11 because at that point I had set the face with the ColourPop translucent setting powder. So if you guys want to see how I got this entire look using ColourPop products, I'll leave that linked down below. Our Blar. I'll leave that link down below or in the cards. So definitely check that out. But here is what everything is looking like. I went ahead and set it with the Gerard Cosmetics setting spray. And I'm pleasantly surprised with how all of this is looking. It just looks very glowy and healthy. This foundation definitely surprised me. So I'll check in with you guys a little bit later in natural lighting. Hello, the time is two o'clock. I've had a mask on for a couple of hours and here is what the makeup is looking like. I don't actually have too much transfer. Um, you can see like the line from my mask, but actually my makeup doesn't look that bad. I was expecting it to be kind of all over the place, but I really don't have that much separation on the nose. It definitely is looking very shiny. My skin definitely does feel like hydrated and everything. Um, but actually this is looking really, really good. And the, the lipstick actually ended up staying on my face with a mask on as well. I'm very surprised. So everything looks really good so far. Hello, hello. It is after eight o'clock, which means I've had this foundation on for nine hours and I am ready to take my makeup off. I'm so tired. I've been awake since 6 30 this morning and I just want to wind down for the night but you guys pardon my crusty crust lips but holy guacamole this seriously looks so good. I've had this foundation on for nine hours. I wore a mask for a couple of hours. I do have a little breakout right here on my chin, but otherwise everything seriously looks really good. It's not even settling into my forehead lines. It's not settling into any of my lines on my face at all. It is separating a little bit on the chin, if you can see. But again, like I said, I wore a mask for a couple of hours and I have a little bit of the foundation off of my nose. Everything seriously looks amazing. If you have dry skin, I highly recommend this foundation. It is just, I mean, you can obviously see the foundation if you have texture, no matter what, you're gonna see anything on texture. But, and if you have large pores and things, I mean, it does emphasize that a little bit, but it is not 100% mask proof. But holy crap, is this stuff hydrating and my dry skin is loving it. The eyeshadow and everything still looks really good. I even use, like I said, I use the concealer as uh, a base for my eyeshadow and I think it still looks really good. Sometimes it depends on the, cre the concealer that I'm using, but it it'll crease. I'm just surprised that none of it has like settled into my forehead that much. I mean, I have a little bit there, but honestly, I am pleasantly surprised with this foundation. I have to say this is probably one of my favorite foundations that I've tried. Let me know if you want me to do um, like a foundation roundup type of thing, like some of my favorite foundations that I've tried this past year. Let me know if you're interested or if I should do a more in-depth review on any foundation, like a week wear test or something, let me know. And I'll be happy to do that for you guys because this channel is for you all as well. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had an amazing day or if you're watching this in the morning, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!